Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. In this episode, I'll be introducing a new release of Top Spice version 10. It is the software by Pensart Development. It's a simulator that I've used for 30 years all the way back since it was DOS. I believe it started in 1991 and I got my first copy of Top Spice and I've used it ever since. Uh, during that time I've developed a working relationship with Penzar. They've been good enough to uh, accept some of my suggestions uh, as far as features to add and they've been very receptive in adding those features. Uh, about a year ago I approached them to see if they could add a FRA feature and after uh, a week or so they were able to add the FRA and uh, we've been able to use it to extract uh, loop analysis which is very very uh, good and uh, I think sometime earlier this year uh, I noticed that on some of the more complicated uh, circuits at simulation time took a little bit longer so I approached them about uh, uh, speeding it up a little bit and I made some suggestions and I'll talk about some of the suggestions that uh, I asked uh, for them to to see if they could implement to uh, improve the FRA speed and they were able to do it and they implemented that feature in the, the latest version which is version 10. So that uh, new feature or new algorithm is actually makes the FRA about four times faster, four to six times faster and I'll show some of the simulation times on that. Another feature that uh, probably someone else uh, asked was uh, uh, now for those people that are uh, that use LT Spice uh, the way you probe transient or any of the other simulation you can probe the schematic and you can plot the voltages and currents just by probing the schematic well now uh, L uh, Top Spice has that feature and I'll, I'll show that now I'm going to concentrate uh, the FRA feature uh, because that's to me as a power supply designer that's what's more important to me and uh, I'm going to do a FRA demo of a Royer power supply and then I'll do a FRA demo of a flyback with three outputs. Okay so the new release of version 10 uh, it's improved the simulation speed and this is one of the suggestions that I had uh, approached to them. Uh, basically what I had asked is when you do a simulation the simulation actually starts from zero and then the power supply takes time to reach steady state and after a certain amount of time after you reach a steady state portion then you start your FRA and it'll you start adding or injecting a signal okay so on the old version version 8 after it does the first sweep then it goes back and it starts from zero again so it has to redo all of this simulation and that takes quite a bit of time so what I ask them is after they do the first sweep and if you specify what your uh, steady state is I asked them if they could store those uh, solutions and then that way when you do the first sweep then on the second sweep instead of starting from zero you pick up where the uh, solutions were uh, stored and start at TSS at the steady state and that actually made it four times faster or at least four times faster than than, than the previous one so that's one of the neat features that they added and and uh, it really speed things up and uh, the, the simulations that I'll be showing actually shows that. Now prior to doing an FRA 
it is important that you do one simulation first and in this case here's the simulation of a flyback and it's a 3.3 .3 supply and by looking at the plot uh, I picked the steady state uh, as 15 milliseconds so that's a important parameter and once you have that then then you're basically ready to do a FRA. So in this case the time steady state is 15 milliseconds. Okay so then to set up your FRA you basically you have to insert a uh, insertion point uh, and you have to define your stimulus and and you have to name it uh, give it a name and then you have to use the sinusoidal source and you define the voltage in this case I'm setting it at 25 millivolts and the frequency really doesn't matter I just you can put any frequency in here because th this will be uh, swept so once this is defined then whatever you name you put it there then you type it in, in here on your FRA menu so this is the FRA menu so once you have that then basically you have it's very similar uh, to entering uh, the f frequency sweep on your Bode 100 or any other FRA so in this case I'm gonna sweep from 100 Hertz up to 100 kilohertz and I'm gonna plot five points per decade so this is pretty self-explanatory okay then you have these optional settings and and this is probably the most important this is the time that you've already pre-run and already extracted and you know that at in this case on the flyback that I'm simulating I'm gonna set it to 15 milliseconds then the next parameter that you need to put in is the maximum run time and typically you want about you basically you add 10 milliseconds to whatever your time uh, steady times state steady state is so in this case this comes out to 25 milliseconds so that's that's a pretty good uh, uh, number 10 milliseconds it gives you a real good uh, point between accuracy and speed uh, the number of periods you can put one two or whatever uh, you want up to 10 just keep in mind the more periods uh, you put in the longer the simulation if you leave it blank the default is five cycles Okay, and then the last uh, parameter that you want to put in, you want a time step ceiling or the interval of 300 nanoseconds, and then you can also name uh, the nodes where your stimulus will be uh, taken. So once you have that, then you're ready to simulate. Okay, so the first simulation that I'll be doing is a multiple flyback okay so this is a flyback and this is the actual schematic of a of a power supply and I'm using a UC1845 uh, PWM and I have my primary here and I have a secondary here another secondary here that's the second output and this is the third output voltage now I'm closing on the first here's my loop and here is my injection point and here's my error amp and this is a, a model for a opto once I goes to the opto then that signal goes to your PWM as you can see this is a detailed 
schematic. I have ver uh, several capacitors. I have the ESR defined and all I have to do is press run and I'm going to go ahead and let it run. It should do the simulation in about a hundred seconds and you'll see I'd, uh, or notice that it started from zero and it, the first sweep or frequency that is sweeping is a hundred and then when it uh, sweeps to the next one instead of starting at zero it'll start at 50 milliseconds so this is where you'll see the transition okay say it started right here this is a 15 milliseconds you can see the time here and then all the subsequent simulations are begun at 15 milliseconds instead of zero and actually that little algorithm or that actually saves a lot of simulation time so prior to this this simulation would take about 400 seconds. Now it takes about 100 uh, seconds to perform. So we're up to 631 hertz. It's still scrolling. So here we have the the results. I can go to status and see how long this took. And it took 110.89 seconds to simulate. In version 8, the same simulation took 481. So it, it greatly in speed the simulation time. Uh, one feature that you can do is you can set these limits. I usually like to set them at about 120, 120. There and here you have your your plot. So this is the open loop. You can use the cursors. You do the Alt Control and then you can swing the cursors and put them there and so forth. You can measure your face margin. Then you can come over here and measure your gain margin and so forth. So this is uh, the results. It, uh, you can see that the speed of the simulation has been greatly improved. So let's try a different simulator or let's try a different circuit. So a flyback is a very common uh, supply let's try something that's unique so here we have a a Royer high voltage power supply here's the Royer followed by a seven state or stage stage multiplier you have your feedback coming down goes through a scanning circuit then you have your error app here you have your current source driving your primary transistors 
So we can look at the simulation. Go to transient and then we go to setup and I'm going to sweep from 100 to 10k and the steady state time in this is uh, uh, on this power supply is 75 uh, milliseconds and again I want the maximum time run to be 10 milliseconds higher than your steady state so in this case it would be 85 uh, the number of periods I'll leave that blank by leaving it blank the default is 5 and in this case I'll go ahead and instead of putting the 300 no I'll go ahead and put 300 here okay and then the positive note negative note is out and in and I'm pretty much ready I am pretty much ready. I press run. The simulation is starting at zero and it's sweeping a hundred hertz. Once it completes that, then the next frequency that it will sweep will start at 75 milliseconds. And you'll see that here. It'll start somewhere around here. Okay, started there at 75. Okay, so it's 177. And it should take about 70 seconds to do a body plot of the loop response. So all of this time is saved and therefore it greatly reduces the simulation time. Again, I don't think there's a small signal model for this. If you have unique power supplies then this is the way to go. So here we have the the body plot. Here are the results. I can go to format and I can press recall and it sizes the X on both the, uh, the face and the gain to the values or the limits that I like. And here you have a real nice stable power supply. Again, you can use the cursors, you can measure the face, and then you can also measure the gain margin and so forth. So this is very, very good. So one last slide that I want to show is how accurate is the results of the simulator and on the left is the body plot that I obtained of the supply. This was done with the Bode 100 and this was taken before the improvements uh, on version, version 10 of Top Spice. So I had this data before the new version came out and after I reran it, you can tell that they're very, very similar. They're very close. So this kind of verifies that the results that you get from your uh, simulations are very accurate and uh, indeed good. Alrighty. Well, I hope you uh, get a ch chance to uh, check out uh, Top Spice. It's a very good simulator and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.